is NBA Action on EA Sports. I'm Ed Cohen. Great to be joined by Jay Williams. Should be a terrific game here tonight. We're at Target Center in downtown Minneapolis. Tonight, it'll be the Minnesota Timberwolves taking on the Philadelphia 76ers. The opening tip won by the Timberwolves as we get rolling from Target Center. Count the basket inside. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. To Booker. Just enough of a head fake to help on that one. Okay, look, not everything is going to make it into the scouting report. it down. It's easy to become mesmerized when you watch a player who can create off the dribble. We call that dancing. When you allow a player to dance with that much space, that's Prob City. To Booker. Goes to the left side. To Booker. Five on the shot clock for Philadelphia. Trying to cash in. Got it. That's a strong finish. Regardless of contact, finishing strong is key. Into the front court. It's Booker. Down four. Look out. Devin Booker missed his first. That one goes. I don't know what the point of you having a scouting report is if you don't utilize it. You're allowing him to get to positions on the floor where you know he feels most comfortable. Make it a challenge for him by making him do something uncomfortable. Sixers control it. Booker. And a nice finish at the rim. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. it down with authority. Jay, they've had no answer for this guy. He's been on fire this first quarter. That's the way you take it right to your opponent. You attack right out of the game. Now whistle and a timeout for Philadelphia as they'll talk things over in what's now a four-point game. We have both squads set to make some moves right now. Knocks it down off the step back. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. Now ready for a couple of free throws. You see this all the time. The defensive player is establishing his presence on the court and also checking to see how far the refs are going to let him go. And hits the first free throw.
Goes two for two at the line. Booker with it. The score, 12 to eight. To Julius Randle. Missed it. Almost a foul. They let it go. Stuffs it down with authority. He took it out on the rim that time. Oh, there's no better feeling than after throwing that one down, hanging on the rim a little bit, looking at your opponent beneath you, making him recognize that's where you'll be the entire ball game. To Julius Randle. Big finish that time for Julius Randle. Mm -hmm. We call that get your money and put it in the bank. <laughs> Minnesota with the basketball. From the painted area, won't go down. Has a look. Booker shot, no good. They'll let one fly from half court. First quarter's complete. It's the Timberwolves in front. to start. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. The offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can, number one, create contact, and number two, still get the ball up. You need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist. Free throws good, a three-point play, and with that, they go up by three. Nothing going here on that drive. The Sixers with four to shoot. A lot of contact, no whistle. Finishing inside the paint on that one. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. Philadelphia with the basketball. Sizing up the defense. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. The defender was actually in a good position there. They even made a decent play on the ball. But sometimes those bounces go the other way. Still, stay aggressive out there. Finishes off the three-point play. They're back within a bucket. Nice pass to get things going. You normally don't see that, but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time. Every once in a while, they venture into the paint. To Booker. Shot from the 
the lane won't go. A lot of contact on that play. He plays through it and scores. And the true test of a team's character is how they respond when they get hit in the mouth. Keep digging. It's in the hands of Philadelphia. To Booker. Has a chance. Booker shot off the mark. Gets it to go. Could have been more. A lot of contact, but no foul. Third quarter comes to an end. The fourth quarter on the way. The Timberwolves have the lead. The Wolves with the basketballs. We start. Strong. I know there's that old saying that says one man can't beat five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big time finish. He was hacked. They let it go. In the slam. At this point, if it continues, it just may be good night, Irene. And some, ooh, I like that Irene line. There you go, Jay. And sometimes as a player on a defensive end, Ed, you need to draw a line in the sand. You have to find a way to change the narrative because right now the constant theme has been too many easy buckets. Jay, don't deny it. You're an old soul at heart. Yeah, I still don't know who Irene is. Though. Me neither. Huh? He throws it down. You know, it reminds me out of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight. I got ball, I got ball. Let's go. Pick him up. Pick him up. I got him. I got him. Count the basket at the rim. No doubt about where that one was headed. Down to Randall. Big finish at the rim. It's that easy, Ed. You never want to leave any doubt when attacking the rim. T-Wolves with the basketball. He was smothered and still gets it to go down. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. He needs to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane, and create. Hey, lock up, lock up. And he's going to the line to shoot. Just because a team's winning doesn't mean the refs are going to put away the whistle. Play right all the way through. First free throw is good. Gets both to drop at the line. It's Minnesota basketball. Stuffs it down with authority. See, these are the type of opportunities the defense doesn't take advantage of. When that guy went up for that dunk, he cradled the ball to gain momentum. As soon as he brings that ball back to you in the cradle, you have to have active hands get in there, strip that ball away. Layup goes down. Well done. In the paint, you need to finish just like that. I got him, I got him. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Hey, match up, match up, match up. Make it tough, don't Count the basket. A lot of contact. No foul. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. Working hard on the glass. Nice touch around the basket with the tip. 
It's a victory for the Timberwolves as they win this one handily. For Jay Williams and all our crew, I'm Ed Cohen saying so long for now. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. for the EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Timberwolves scored enough points to guarantee a win in most any matchup. And they did so much scoring, they made it look easy. Some days, it just feels like everything is gonna drop. And they were definitely feeling it here today. The Timberwolves got their point scoring from these guys on screen. Player of the game. And what we have here are highlights worth a thousand words. There's no question he stood out amongst the rest in today's matchup. Who was cold? These are the top plays of the game. Number two. 